I'm getting the divorce papers served right now. Hello. Hello, Claudia. Yep. Yeah, just drop an obviously legal document. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. I know I said I wouldn't. I know I said I wouldn't get a dog. Could you resist? Look at her. She's so adorable, isn't she? Look at that little face. Her name is Daisy. Daisy. Irresistible, isn't she? <laughs> I had to resist. I want to start this new life, really absorbing the time to myself and the things that I will do and how I will change my life from now on. Daisy <laughs> is my daughter's Valerie's new um, addition to her family. <laughs> this is Bentley, her son. And this is Daisy, her daughter. And as the gr good grandmother that I am, <laughs> I'm here in Provo, dog sitting, while um, Daisy is still a baby. You see, there is really no reason to feel sad. I see what's happening in my life right now as an opportunity. I have never really lived by myself. I always had children or a partner and this is <laughs> where is it? Oh, here it is this is the first time in my life that I get to find out what I will do with the opportunities presented to me so anyway no sadness here I'm gonna uh, take the time to develop myself heal from the things in the past and continue to move on. Life is so wonderful. So many different opportunities. Of course, not everything is as easy. There, there will be challenges, but we have challenges every day in our lives. So this is just another chapter that I hope is gonna be my best chapter. I have days that I feel fearful and I'm learning to sh shake it off. There are days that I feel sad, but soon realize there's no point of feeling sad. It is what it is and uh, some things are just not worth the pain. And to me, this is one of them. It's been, well, this is very noisy, so how about I'm going to take care of the kids We'll take the rest of this to the mini in a little bit, okay? So, let's do that. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let's take it to the comfy couch in the mini. <laughs> I'm back. What I was trying to convey earlier is that although this is a difficult situation because I have to figure out so many things about my life now. I don't take it as a something negative. Actually, after the initial shock or being lied to and realizing that perhaps no much of the experiences lived were true, after the initial shock, I started to realize that for me, this situation is actually a great opportunity 
an opportunity of a lifetime because in my life, I have never been alone. When I was younger, I was always a mother or a partner. So for me, I really want to give myself this time to grow and to be alone. I am not interested in pursuing relationships, romantic relationships. I just want to take time to breathe and figure things out at my pace and construct and build a life, a life that reflects who I am, my efforts. So I'm excited, I'm excited about the future. Don't be sad for me. I feel that it's a true new beginning and it's actually a gift for me. I'm optimistic. I have a lot of faith in the things that I can accomplish. I have a blank canvas and I'm very interested to see what I will do with it. I wanted to share with you what this struggle was and I wasn't ready to communicate that before but I didn't want to leave you hanging. That was my struggle. It wasn't so much of the suffering of the broken relationship because that was coming and I knew it. I was served with paper, uh, divorce papers. I didn't initiate the divorce because even before we got married, I told him that it took us a while to get to that point of deciding to get married and that if for any reason there was a possibility of a divorce, I wasn't going to spend my time and energy to file for it, that he needed to do that. That is the reason why I was served with divorce papers and I knew because I was expecting that any day. But again, don't be sad for me. It's a great opportunity of a new life and I'm so excited because I am in a position that I have never been before and I'm looking forward to all the many things to come. And I know sometimes it would be difficult, but difficulties have never faced me. So let's keep moving forward. You, me, all of us. Suffering is part of life but it doesn't have to be the state of our lives. I invite you to overcome your own struggles and, and choose to be optimistic. We are in a time of so many opportunities and so much knowledge and so many resources. No reason to be sad. A chapter has been closed and a new one has started. Thank you for watching and I hope, as always, that you will come back for the next video. And if you're not subscribed, I would really appreciate your subscription. Thank you. Ciao.